Welcome back, everyone, to Silver Bowl in Bocuse, France, for the 2021 Bowling Promotion Tour, sponsored by Cubica AMF. Today we have our fourth and final three-way match of this Master Series stepladder, featuring England's Sarah Hood and her compatriot Carl Buckley and Michael Koch from the Netherlands. In the first match, we saw Carl Buckley advance against Paige Nelson. Then Michael Koch survived ninth and 10th frame roll-off against Véronique Segur, and Sarah then dominated Fabian Higonek and Sergei Braga. The winner of this match earns the right to advance and face number eight seed, Jack Blythe, also of England. Once again, this will be our last three-way match of this series, and then we'll move on to two-way matches. Bruce Hall here, and I'm your U.S. commentator for these matches. It's the 14th of 22 matches we'll be bringing you in this series, and you can see the entire schedule at BowlingPromotionTour.com. Now let's get our first look at Sarah Hood in this match. I can immediately tell you that she's made a ball change, and that's a Venom. It looks a little bit more aggressive and does make the turn. She moved her feet left a little bit, it looks like, and she got a little bit more hook, but the ball came in a bit late and leaves the flat 10. Sarah dominating the, the last round, shooting 243 with her eight pin handicap. And once again, women by international rule get an eight pin handicap when it's mixed competition. And we will calculate that in as we look at the scores for the match. And there's a spare by Sarah. And that's a very good start. Now let's get our first look at Michael Koch, powerful right hander. He's got that phase two, a venerable ball from Storm. And that ball just keeps on working for so many players around the world, myself included. And beautiful shot there out of the gate by Michael. Got that one around the third arrow and right out, actually right between second and third arrow, out to the break point. And that's picture perfect movement through the pin. So beautiful shot there by Michael. And now left-hander Carl Buckley. Carl will be visiting the U.S. coming up here and pulling some tournaments over there. As the guest of Christopher Vialli, you can see Christopher and Amy back there. And a little bit high for Carl to kick things off for the 2-4-7. Looks like he just got that a little bit right of target. And the ball picked up and went right through the pins there. Carl staying with the strike ball for the 2-4-7. Lots of philosophies on how to shoot that and just does make it. Catches that two pin on the edge, so good shot there. Carl, one of the few players to claim a 300 game, both one and two handed. So there's a sign of the times that you have a player with 300 games, both with one and two hands. So that's some versatility there. Now, Sarah has gone back to the less aggressive ball in this right lane. Very interesting strategy here. And that's right up eight. Doesn't quite make the corner. So we're going to give her eight. What normally will be 18 in her first frame, plus eight now will be 26. So Sarah enjoying the early lead by virtue of her eight pin handicap by international rule. Leaving the two eight. Now has to go cross lane to convert. And right at it, no doubt about it. Beautiful spare there by Sarah. Now Michael Koch, 215 average, 814 high series. And three-time Netherlands national champion. He's been a European youth champion as well. So this young man having an excellent youth career. But now age 26, 
And another beautiful shot. And look at the messenger comes across. Give him the strike. Or, as Mr. Violi likes to say, that's a Farkle. And turn it up, turn it up. Watch the head pin. Bounces off the sidewall. Goes across and just does nudge out that 10 pin. Bowler's best friend. Beautiful. Second frame strike there for Coke. And now let's see if Carl can get into the pocket here. And that's going to be wide left. So Carl has unfortunately missed right and then left. And that ball is not going to make the turn. Comes up for the 3-7 split. And again, staying with the strike ball. Let's see if he can slide. A three pin over. Nope. Gets it to the left, so give him nine out there. And that will put Carl in an early hole to both of these players. And Sarah now going to kick things off in our third frame. Once again, Sarah, a member of Team England in 2018. And again, staying with the two-ball strategy. I think she saw the little bit more hook on that left lane and comes in a little late. So she wanted to move in and catch more of the oil, but doing so needed a more aggressive ball. So that's her strategy. And then it's going to be her second consecutive flat 10 on that lane. Once again, cross lane for the 10 pin and no trouble there for Sarah. Shout out to Bruno Bedone, producer of this series. And Bruno, the promoter, producer, coordinator, videographer, announcer, has many, many roles in the production of this series and really does it to promote the sport of bowling and a wonderful job he does with it. Once again, visit bowlingpromotiontour.com and get more information on this series. And here's Michael looking for the triple. Yes, sir. No doubt about that one. And he gets the flush. Messenger flush. So Michael Koch sending a message here early in this match and looking very strong. You, too, can be part of this series. They record these, mess these shows in the September time frame. He tour France. And they visited a number of different cities to do the qualifying. Once again, 32 games qualifying for the stepladder. There's a ball change by Carl, but it doesn't help. He still doesn't get himself to the pocket. And you saw the standings of the stepladder with none other than Daria Payok as high qualifier, followed by Carl Eklund, Christopher Vialli, Nora Johansson, Quentin DeRue, Manon Grancier, Oliver Hagen Nielsen, and Jack Blythe are the top eight. And we'll see Jack in the next match. And there's a spare by Carl, but once again, Carl fishing around, trying to get himself lined up here. I believe that's Daria in the background there, watching how this these lanes break down as she prepares her strategy to win yet another title. She's won the mixed doubles and the women's title of the series so far. Daria coming off the PWBA tour. Now Sarah once again with the weaker ball on the right lane, but gets the job done on that shot. Beautiful shot there. Now we'll see if she can get that Venom to help her out on that left lane so she can double up. And right up the pike, beautiful shot there. No doubt about that one. Now Coke going for four in a row. You can see that pin situated above the fingers. Typically that means that the ball will go a little bit further down the lane before making its turn. And gets it to the right. Another perfect shot by Coke. 
Look at this front four. And Coke with the 25 pin lead over Sarah, even with her handicap. And Sarah doesn't even have an open. So Coke out to the early lead and could really make this a runaway if he keeps striking. And he looks very solid in the pocket. And here's Carl. It was a good looking shot, but it cuts through the beak. <laughs> I thought that was his best looking shot yet. And unfortunately, he gets it cuts through the beak and gives him the 4 6 split. So Carl really lost here. Really surprising. He had a much better look against Paige Nelson. And uh, things have just kind of gone south for him on this pair. And Carl will, I'm sure, figure it out. Good player. Just uh, struggling on this 41-foot uh, this pattern. Now Sarah, once again, the two-ball strategy needs to start making it work here if she wants to keep up with Coke. Because Coke looks very strong. It's funny, Michael had a really hard time in the first game on this pattern. And beautiful shot there. Got to go. And it does. Beautiful shot there by Sarah. All, all three shots on that lane have been very good. Look at the rotation. This ball really picks up. You can, it's very, you can really see the weight block turnover with the markings there on the ball. And he comes up and gives her the mixer seven. And there's Carl wondering, how am I going to get the ball to the pocket when Michael Koch has not missed? And here he goes. Look at that powerful upper body on this young man. Yeah, there's another pretty good looking shot and <laughs> devastates the rack. Front five for Michael Koch, making it a runaway. And now let's see if Carl could make the move to get himself lined up here. And I'm hesitant to say good shot because last time I said that it was a 4-6. And uh, Carl raises his arms in victory by getting the ball to the pocket and getting the carry. So right over the 10 board, second arrow. Gets the strike, kick the seven, and good shot there. So here's Sarah. Can she triple up and put any kind of pressure on Coke here? Once again, she's got an eight pin handicap, so give her 95 in the fourth if she strikes here. Oh, good looking ball. Get the 10 out and does. A little bit late into the pocket, and look at the friendly six pin doing its job, knocking around in this flat gutter here. Watch the six pin just kick that 10, give her the triple. And a very important shot there because Michael Koch is just running away with this. And she manages to keep it to 25 pins, but Koch can once again take it out to 35 with a strike here. And finally missed on the dryer lane. Comes up high, so 22 pin lead now for Coke. And Sarah with a chance to cut that lead next time. Now let's see if Michael can cover this. 3 6 10, straight at it. No doubt about it. Beautiful spare. Carl taking us through the completion of this sixth frame. And goes Brooklyn. Oh, and doesn't even get the carry on the Brooklyn. Gets the mixer, the scrambler, really. It's a little bit right, and boy, he's really uh, just got no love on this pattern. Can't get anything to open up any area for himself. And crosses over for the, the blower seven, I guess we call that. And 
problem there on the spare, but Carl in a deep, deep hole. Down by about 80 pins, actually, to Michael. So I don't think that's a hole he's going to recover from. However, Sarah Hood can get this lead down to 12. With a shot here. Another beautiful ball. Carry it. Yes, sir. Give her the strike. 12 pin match now. And even if Coke strikes, Sarah can get it down to two pins. So we've got a match despite the impressive run by Coke. The front five. Here we go. He's got that late timing. And a little bit high for the four pin. Got that dry a little early. Let's see where this ball is. Yeah, just a touch left of target. Not a bad shot. Comes up a little bit high. And gives him the four pin, which should not be a problem to convert. And does. No problem there. Lost a pin, so we're now down. To a very, very tight match. Yeah, let's see what Carl can do here once again. Another pretty good looking shot comes up high, and thank you very much for the 6 7. <laughs> and no love there on that shot. See what Carl can do with this 6-7. He has nothing to lose by going for it. Let's we'll see if he goes cross lane and gives it a shot. And fires down the middle for nothing. And Carl knowing that he's just a pacer at this point, unfortunately, without finding any look to the pocket. Now, Sarah Hood with a chance. Take the lead here. If she can strike. Got her down one with her handicap. And straight up, and there's a four pin for Sarah. Making it a two pin match with her handicap once again. Got to add the eight pins in. Two pin match. Can't ask for better than this. In the eighth frame, getting down to it. Oh, very nice look at those 3G shoes. Lots of folks prefer those shoes. They're very comfortable. And Sarah covering up the four pin. Let's see if Michael now can. Set himself up for the 10th. We're here in the eighth frame. Winner moves on to face Jack Blythe. It's our last three-way match of this Masters stepladder. Here in Bocuse, France. An important shot here. When Michael gets it right, gets it out, rips the rack, shreds that rack. And two pin lead now for Coke. Look at that. No doubt about that one. And Michael using. And again, once again, add eight to Sarah's score. And you get 184. And you see we have a two pin match. And how about another 4 6 for Carl? Huh? Really, I feel for him. He's having such a hard time on this pattern. Really can't get anything into the pocket. And uh, seems like he's playing the lanes the right way, but everything seems to be either over-reading or 
And then once you start having trouble reading the pattern, things get a little tighter. It's harder to make a good shot. So Carl having a harder time with this slams two out. And Carl will be back. He's a talented player. Looking forward to welcoming him to the U.S. once again on his uh, little tour that he'll be making. And now Sarah, huge shot here. Ninth frame. Down by two. Two ball strategy. Perfect shot in the pocket. We've got a match, folks. And good shot there. And let's see. Run over the second arrow. Watch this make the turn into the pocket. That's the right adjustment. And will the two ball strategy pay off for Sarah Hood or will Coke come up here and set himself up for the 10th frame in order to shut out Hood? Can he do it right down the pike? Yes, gets the slap 10. And that's going to give Michael Koch the 12 pin advantage and he could not be shut out. This will go to the 10th. And if Sarah can get the first one, even if she doesn't get the second one, she puts pressure on Koch to get count and a mark. And there's a crossover Brooklyn for Carl Buckley. Once again, having a very hard time with this pattern. Funny, he did not have anywhere near these issues against Paige Nelson. And now Sarah, biggest shot of the match right here, needs it to get back within two. And a double will give her the lead, but she cannot shut out Michael Koch. And that's in the pocket. Does it have enough revs? And it blows the rack, but will not carry the seven pin. So now Sarah with a 234 maximum with her handicap and Michael Koch needing a mark for 240s. And no problem on the seven pin there. Good cover there for Sarah. And let's get this strike to keep the count alive. Once again, very important. Good firm shot, right up 10, holds pocket. And a beautiful 2-34 game for Sarah Hood. And now let's see if Michael Koch can close this out. I like his chances. So once again, 226 plus 8, 234, which means if... Michael were to go nine miss, we would have a tie. And any mark is a winner. And out to the drive. Perfect strike. That's the best mark you can get. And Michael Koch punches his ticket to advance and face Jack Blythe in our singles portion or the two, should I say the uh, two person uh, matches in the step ladder coming up and then we will move up and eventually get to Daria Payak the number one seed so congratulations to Michael Koch who comes back after his first match and bowls an impressive he's going to shoot 260 something he had the front five and went spare spare and he's got the back four here it looks like going to change balls here. Looks like something less aggressive. 
And can he wrap it up? And that works too. So beautiful game there by Michael Koch. That is a hard game to beat uh, when you're bowling on this 41 foot pattern. 266 by Michael Koch. A big game, beautiful game. And uh, you got to like his chances moving on, moving up the stepladder. So. And Carl will just finish out here. And once again, Bruce Hall here. I'm your commentator for the U.S. version of these matches. And we will be back in a few days for the next match, which is going to be Coke versus Jack Blythe. And let's see. And Carl does pick up the difficult 2-8. He says, I'm ready to go. Let's start over. And there you go. Once again, shout out to Bruno Bedone. And we'll watch Carl's last match, last shot here, and then we'll check out. And right up the middle, and breaks up the split that time, leaves the seven pin, and there we go. So thanks, everyone. We will see you back here, 147 for Carl, and we will see you back here for the Jack Blythe-Michael Koch match. Michael, congratulations, 266 oh, in the you. last match. Uh, you switched balls to a stronger ball of phase two, yeah. and it provided good reaction? Very good, very good. Uh, very good carry. Um, last game I bowled with IQ Tour, and now I uh, moved to phase two. It gave me uh, more room to miss, and just a great look and good carry. So you come back, and you bowl on the fresh uh, lane condition now. Uh, are you going to play it differently than you did this morning? Definitely a lot slower, yeah. yeah. Maybe I go back to the IQ tour, maybe I go a bit right. But uh, I haven't played on fresh today, so uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe it works like the way I'm playing it now, but we'll see. Okay, good luck to you Thank in the you. next round. Thanks. <laughs> 